Hello and welcome to How to Memorize Fast. Today we're going to memorize Howard Gardner's Multiple Intelligences. Our memory peg for one is sun. So here's the sun. And Gardner's first intelligence is verbal, or sorry, linguistic. And I'm so linguistic, I talk to the sun. Hello sun, how are you today? Are you having a good one? I'm a bit crazy talking to suns, but it, it uh, well, uh, that's how linguistic I am. Linguistic, number one. Our memory peg for number two is shoe. Ah, come on, stay on camera, shoe. And Gardner's second intelligence is logical mathematical. Logical mathematical shoe. This is me adding up shoes. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Shoe. Shoe is two. Logical, mathematical. Our memory peg for three is tree. So we're going to pretend this little plant behind me is a tree. Tree. And Gardner's third intelligence is musical. Check out this tree. It's an amazingly musical tree. Genius! Look at that. That's got to be the best piano playing you've ever heard. This tree has a very musical intelligence. That's, if it's not the best piano playing you've ever heard, it's got to be at least the best, the best tree piano playing you've ever heard. Three. Tree. Musical. Our memory peg for number four is door. Check out these doors behind me. Looks like must be a little closet in there, hey? Because uh, this is the kitchen, little closet. But guess what? Gardner's fourth intelligence is spatial. Check it out. This is a very spatial closet. Woo! It's like the 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 bloody uh, what do you call it? You know, Doctor Who the. Um, do, 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 do. No, uh, Doctor Who, Doctor Who, Doctor Who, Doctor Who. What's the TARDIS? It's so huge in here compared to what it looks like from the little doors. Door, spatial. That's Gardner's fourth intelligence. Okay, you're really going to have to use your imagination on this one. Our memory pick for five is hive. You're going to have to imagine. Come on, put on that imagination cap. Imagine this is a beehive, okay? This is a beehive. And Howard's fifth intelligence, number five, hive, five. Howard's fifth intelligence is spatial, uh, sorry, not spatial, is uh, bodily kinesthetic. Now check, check out how bodily and kinesthetic I am when I open the hive. And all the bees come out. Ah, the bees. Oh, oh, bodily kinesthetic number five. Our memory peg for six is stick, or just stick in this example. And uh, Gardner's sixth intelligence, stick, sixth intelligence, was uh, six, stick, intrapersonal. Hello, stick. How are you? Well, this is... I'm trying to be interpersonal here, but uh, since the stick can't talk back, uh, it's really like I'm just talking to myself. I know myself really well. Interpersonal stick. Hi, Jeremy. Hi, Jeremy. How are you, Jeremy? Very well, Jeremy. This is how I talk to myself. Interpersonal. Intrapersonal. Number six. Six. Number seven, our, our memory peg for number seven is heaven. See, there's Jesus. See, now. Hello, hello Jesus. I'm not just talking to myself anymore, talking to a stick. Now I'm talking to another person, Jesus. And that's because Howard's seventh, Howard's seventh intelligence is interpersonal. See, now I'm interpersonal. I'm not just talking to myself like I was when I was talking to a stick. In heaven, I talked to someone else. Jesus. 
So now I'm interpersonal. Our memory peg for number eight is gate. So here is gate. Yeah. Oh, my camera flips anyway. That's a gate and the Howard Gardner's eighth intelligence was naturalist. So I want you to remember that when we walk through my gate, we find lots and lots of nature. See? Nature. Look at all. Look at all the nature through my gate. That's because Gardner's eighth intelligence is naturalist. That's Howard Gardner's multiple intelligences. There are eight of them. Remember them. Remember them well.